y'all welcome to sunshine haze i am aja a this video is for uh gemini happy birthday gemini um for those of you that watch my channel i apologize to everybody that was waiting for the new moon and taurus forecast i uh life came at me fast <laughs> that's that's really the best way that i can put it so you know i, I just really didn't have the time to do uh, 12 <laughs> free readings and upload them to youtube it takes so much time but um I did want to get y'all something, you know, the rising Capricorn in me is just blown by the fact that I couldn't stick to my routine. But, um, you know, I wanted to do something for y'all, so I'm going to do the full moon in Sagittarius, uh, do a forecast for you. My throat, my allergies are off the chain, y'all, sorry. <laughs> I took my allergy medicine, my... <laughs> almost swallowed it the wrong way so i don't know what just happened there but um okay yes yeah, so anyways um doing a full moon and sagittarius forecast for you so it's not going to be looking over you know the time span of a month we're going to be looking at the next couple of weeks so up into uh mid-june into your uh lunar season and uh up into cancer solar season so if you have Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, or Gemini Rising, this video is for you. If you feel like the video is not resonating with you, go on and check out your moon or rising sign, okay? Um, and today, since we are looking at the full moon in Sagittarius, we're going to be looking at, you know, release and illumination. Going to do a five-card spread still. And, uh, of course, like I always do, we're going to be looking at the uh, energy for you guys for this next couple of weeks, Gemini. Going to be looking at anything that could be crossing you during this next these next couple of weeks or you know stopping you from tapping into whatever the energy is supposed to be for you during this uh, full moon portion of the lunar cycle um, also going to be taking a look at what's being illuminated for you any opportunities coming in any uh, adventures that you need to go on or things that you need to do Sagittarius is very adventurous very adventurous sign likes to try everything um fire fire sign lots of energy are you itching girl <laughs> okay girl um we are also going to be looking at where are you going what you doing <laughs> my dog is hilarious um also going to be taking a look at um uh, what's going to be released for you guys during these next couple of weeks and because we're talking about Sagittarius we're gonna look at the restrictions so what has been holding you back from doing the things that you want to do what's been a hindrance to your process um, from going on or taking those adventures or those opportunities coming in for you or doing the things that you need to do and then as I always do in all of my readings I will have a soul message a spirit message a message to your higher self however you, whatever you want to call it all right so See what is in store for Sagittarius. <laughs> I keep saying Sagittarius. It's a full moon in Sagittarius, guys. It has been crazy, y'all. Like, this is probably one of the craziest moons that I've had myself. Um, I do have a lot of planets close to the degree of eight, which is what the moon, the full moon is in. So I know that's why I've probably been affected so much because I don't have a lot of fire in my chart. But um, if you have a lot of fire in your chart, especially Sag, um, or that or any planets especially personal planets close to eight degrees this moon is probably gonna rock your world because <laughs> it's rocked mine um okay what's popping for Gemini Sun Gemini moon Gemini rising for these next couple of weeks during this uh, full moon in Sagittarius what's going on all right y'all let's go on and cut the deck used to reading on my mat on the floor so when I do these readings on the table like my my little clock doesn't stay in place all right let's pop in Gemini okay hmm. I did see that at the bottom of the deck when I was ooh, when I was uh shuffling for you okay interesting got a lot of major major cards here so, 
first card that I have coming up for you, uh, Gemini, is the energy. And you've got the Seven of Wands here. Now, the Seven of Wands is a card that points to, you know, kind of standing in your own, having your own view or having your own way of doing things and other people not necessarily understanding or agreeing or wanting to contribute or show their support. So this is going to be the energy for you guys during this time. And it's not not to say it's a bad energy. It could go like it could have a couple of different vibes to it. The first is you may actually be involved in a project or doing something that, you know, it's just not a lot of people trying to be around you or a lot of people looking at you like, I don't know about that. I don't know. Mm, I'm not too sure. Or you could just be in a position to where you feel like you have all these people around you. But you have to do everything by yourself, not necessarily because they're burdening you with it, but because you have the drive and you have the will and you have this connection and this burning passion to devote your energy to that. So that's going to be the energy for you during these next couple of uh, weeks coming up in this full moon in Sagittarius. Gemini, you're going to be probably in a position to where you're just kind of on your solo dolo or doing your own thing and blade getting ready to blaze the path you see the little the the flame is at the top and it's it's lit but you see all these other wands fall kind of falling out the way and kind of like if these were people gazing at y'all in awe so energy for you guys during these next couple of weeks is going to be very vibrant very me energy if that makes sense now, the next card that I have coming up for you is what could be crossing you during this particular time. And you've got the Hierophant, which is interesting because that's typically a card of mentorship, um, typically a card of somebody who is either looking for somebody to give them some pointers or somebody who is the teacher, who is the mentor. It's coming up in the position of what could be crossing you. It could be one of two things. There could be somebody that you look up to or that you have learned a lot from or that has, you know, helped you develop into whatever, whoever it is that you are now that is not necessarily in tune with what it is that you're doing. Not to say they either they either don't like it, they either don't support it, or they're either just not really vibing with it in the sense that maybe it's just not for them, if that makes sense. And then on the other hand, this card could also mean you know, you're in this position to where you want to do all these things by yourself, to where you want to get shit popping, but you don't necessarily have, like I said in a Taurus is spread, but they had a different card here. You don't have your ducks in a row. Um, you don't have a, you know, concrete plan for what it is that you're trying to do. You just have the passion for it and you have the energy and you have the drive for it. So you could be in a position to where you're seeking you know, mentorship or seeking some help, seeking some advice, and you're not coming across anybody that's really giving you anything that's resonating with you, or you're not coming into the things that you need to come into that you feel will help you blaze the way as far as the Seven of Wands goes. So the next card that I have coming up for you guys is what's in the spot of illumination? What is going to be, what are possibly some opportunities coming in for you? And you've got the Hangman, which... Because we're dealing with the full moon and we're talking about release, although the next position is the release position, you've got the hangman coming up and what's being illuminated. So what this is saying to me is that you, Gemini, you guys are an air sign, you're the Gemini. So you go, you know, one way this way, uh, one way this day, different way the other, one path this day, different path the next. The hangman is saying that something that most likely whatever this is, some sort of hindrance to you is something that like it's just maybe something that you're not supposed to also be involved with this hangman is saying that you are going to have to take a step take a second be still look at things from all obstacles i like saying that with the hangman card because it's hanging upside down and it's a little different from like temperance or you know like the high priestess where you're sitting and observing but you're you're sitting up right the hangman is kind of like you're upside down so you're gonna have to take a moment gemini to look at whatever this is whatever path you're trying to take from all obstacles see things clearly for what they are you guys are an air sign so you do have that capability to tap into that mental that you have that strength of perception 
and also understand that there may be some things that need to be changed in order for you to actually, like I said, blaze the way. This is also a card of sacrifice, of letting things go, of actually taking the time to see what is no longer serving you. So moving on to the next card, which is actually in the release position, and what we've got because I'm talking about Sagittarius, what we've got there is the restrictions. Uh, we're, we're talking about the restrictions, what needs to be released or what restrictions are holding you back from, you know, falling into alignment with whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. And you've got the tower. So when the tower comes up, it always points to in the spread that something is about to happen and it's probably going to be kind of crazy. Um, think of the tower as the rug being yanked out from underneath you sometimes. Um, but then also personally, I was pulling tower cards and seeing tower cards and readings for myself for this past month. And it wasn't necessarily anything crazy, but the way that my life shifted in, to, in, in turn is having like a domino effect and shifting everything else um, in a positive way. So because we're talking about the hangman though and you're about to let something go I, I feel like whatever it is that's going to be released um is really like a, a a blockage for the path that you're supposed to be on gemini so once you figure out what it is that you need to let go of once you tap into or get that advice on what it is that you need to sacrifice in order to go down that path i believe it's really going to change a lot of things for you Gemini um with this also being in the restrictions and the release position this is also just saying like whatever happens or whatever was happening that is changing was really really stopping you from doing what you wanted to do and being who you needed to be and coming into the situation that you were supposed to come in but this tower card coming up is saying like if it hasn't already happened like Things are about to change drastically for you and it's going to in turn affect pretty much like the rest of whatever else you have going on. Um, but this is coming up in the full moon spread. So keep in mind that this change could be coming either very close to the full moon or within the next couple of weeks sometime in the beginning or to mid June. Okay. Next card that I have coming up or the last card that I have coming up for y'all Gemini in this spread is uh, the nine of cups. One of my favorite cards. The cups uh, is the water suit, which resonates with, you know, emotions, love, family, friends. Um, and this is coming up in your soul message, your, your spirit message position. And this is just saying that, you know, things are about to come full circle for you. La, 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 la. Always, like, at least half of my videos, I can't talk. Although this is not the Ten of Cups. This is just saying like you have been slowly but surely and consistently putting your energy into the things that you need to put them into and you're about to come full circle and you're about to complete the process and you're about to become very, very, you're coming into a very positive energy. You're coming into a very abundant time, spiritually, financially. Um, you're, you're tapping into that enlightenment. You're tapping into you know, that positive energy that you need to tap into and you're almost completely there, but this stuff needs to happen before you can hit that nine of, like, this stuff needs to happen before you can actually make it to the 10 of cups, which is the next card completing the numbers of the cup suit. So just keep in mind, Gemini, that, you know, you're probably marching to the beat of your own drum during this time, and that typically tends to be a, a characteristic of air signs. Um, you guys are the mental, the mental element so your perspective is often way broader than the rest of us so like I said probably march into the beat of your own drum during this next couple of weeks you may come to a point to where you just don't know what to do or how to proceed you're going to have to take a step back and use that per perspective to take a look at your situation and take a look at the things that you've been into or that you're doing really reevaluate them and understand that some things are about to change and once this change happens is when things are going to really start to transform for you so you can get on that pretend like there's like I like to look at this and pretend like there's water running through these cups kind of like it's like a what's it called a little ferris wheel that kind of pours <laughs> so like you know once all this happens you're going to be able to you know cup trickles down into the next one come into that cycle and come into that abundance, come into that happiness, come into that, you know, enlightenment. So 
this full moon in Sagittarius is really cool for y'all because you're um, wrapping, you're, you're in your solar season. So typically when we return to our sun signs is when we start our new journeys. That's how I actually look at my years. I don't do new year resolutions. I do my uh, yearly goals. So when it's time for me to turn another age is when I sit there and I do what I guess most people would consider new year's resolutions in January. So this is a new beginning for you guys. You you're you're coming into something new, but you've really got to take the time to 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 look at your situations and understand everything that's going on because you do have the capability and the potential to tap into this spiritual and you know abundance and this positive energy. Okay, Gemini. All right, y'all. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked, I hope before I tell y'all to like my videos. If I hope these cards resonated with you, I hope. They are able to give you some insight on how to maneuver through these next couple of weeks because this Sagittarius full moon has been wild. When I say this is probably like the wildest moon that I've experienced since I've started doing all of this mystic stuff. Like I, I've been mind blown and I'm a cancer. I'm, I, I'm usually ready and prepared for all the moon shits, but like I have been like, whoa. Um, that's also, like I said, probably cause my, I have a few planets close to eight degrees, which is a karmic number, which means, you know, it's a lot of divine timing for myself. So like I said, um, if you have any planets in eight degrees, especially personal planets or a lot of fire or Sag in your charts, this is probably going to affect you a lot. Um, and keep in mind that everything that happens is for a reason though, y'all. Um, if you want more information on what these next couple of weeks are going to have in store for you, I would say definitely go on and check out my uh, full moon in Sagittarius video. I do have that link down in the description box below for you. If you didn't feel like this video resonated with you, go on and check out your moon or rising sign. And now I will tell you guys or ask y'all to like my video. If you like the video, if you feel like these cards helped you or resonated with you, please go on and hit that little thumbs up button for me down below. If you have any questions or comments, I am back to frequently checking my page now. Go on and drop them down as well. I will respond to you. Um, I am going to be putting out the new moon and Gemini video in a couple of weeks and I will be back into my routine. I will be putting out tarot forecast with that as well so you guys are kind of going to get a little back to back from me so i hope you enjoy this i hope i hope y'all like it <laughs> and uh what else if you made it all the way through this video listening to me talk go on and hit that subscribe button because you clearly felt what i was saying <laughs> and so you can keep in keep up with when i put out new videos um what else y'all said subscribe like comment share the video if you feel moved to and um thank you guys again for watching i truly appreciate you